This is tuna on toast. And the way you go about, about your business, is there ever like a chip on your shoulder to prove to those who may have doubted you when you left Blink that oh, Tom can't go do anything? He's got all these crazy ideas. They're so huge. How is he going to make these things come to fruition? Is it con Do you constantly try to prove yourself to people who may have said that to you? Yeah. <laughs> what if that uh, wasn't the, the answer you're going to, you're like, well, no, not at all. No, <laughs> no maybe no. you're like, no, I just do it because I <laughs> no, have fun. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, it's not like as strong of a yeah, as I said. The truth is, is that every artist is trying to prove themselves at all times. If they say they're not, it's kind of bullshit because you're putting it out there for people to interact with. Now, not every artist is salivating over reviews and what people think. I'm like, like, you know, some people you put it out, or a hundred percent of their time is what are people saying? I'm probably at like 15% of my time. I'm like, what are people saying? I don't <laughs> okay. know. Fuck them. You know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. um, but, uh, like, I think for me, it's, you know, I'm, I'm trying to prove to myself that I'm worthy to be where I'm at. Like, I'm trying to prove that if I'm going to make an album, it's got to be better than the last or else I don't deserve to be here and have anyone like yourself wanting to talk to me about it. So easily, this 80, 90% of it is me trying to prove that I deserve to have any of the success that I've had in my life because I listen to my older shit and I go, God, it could have been so much better. I was lazy mm. or I thought my shit didn't stink or I thought no one had anything to offer, you know, or Blink was like, we were so wonderfully in our own bubble. Like if we fuck up on stage, it makes the show better. And like play the same songs every night because that's the easiest thing to do. And um, let's not work on harmonies for a few hours every day because who the fuck cares, you know? Um, so I look back and I go, wow, I think I was lazy, you know? And now I try to spend time on those things not all the time, but I try to spend time on those things and I try oh. to be better. And Good for you, um, that's just me it's trying inspiring. Well, you know, but I, but I also have ADHD, so I'm like all over the place. I mean, I'll be working on harmonies. I'll be like, oh shit, there's like a new UFO video somewhere. I want to go watch that. And then I'll forget. And then someone's like, you got to go work on your singing. And I'll be like, hold on. There's a Bigfoot book that just came out. You know, let's read about some fucking Bigfoot shit. You know, um, I just like weird things because I don't like normal. I don't want to hear about Geico and their insurance stuff. I don't want to hear about the pandemic. I don't want to hear about people's like shitty day in traffic or like too many errands to run with their kids. I want to read about like a monster in the forest that's really might be there you know I was like that's wild like yeah. why would you not want to hear about that I don't want to hear about that other shit so I'm I'm just I'm always torn between like make make my art and like go into a rabbit hole stoned into like a Bigfoot book until like two in the morning you know <laughs> hope you enjoyed now hit that subscribe button and for more tuna on toast listen wherever you get your podcasts